Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will deep dive in the world of Singleton class in Dart. I will cover everything that you need to know about it. So without wasting time, let's get started. What exactly Singleton class is? Guys, in object-oriented programming, a Singleton class is a design pattern that restricts the instantiation of class to single instance. In simple terms, it ensures that there is only one unique instance of a class created during the entire runtime of application. Why do we need singleton class? The primary reason is to control and manage access to shared resources or unique point of control in your application. Now imagine you have a database connection or configuration manager or a login service. You would want multiple instances of these services causing conflicts or resource wastage. A singleton class ensures that there is only one instance of such a service throughout your application. There are several ways to create singleton class. In this video, I will explain three easy and most widely used ways. The first way is by using factory constructor. Simply create a class and add private constructor to it so that no one can instantiate it. Then create a static private field that receives the instance from our private constructor. The user of final keep the field unmodified. Now create a factory constructor and from here return the instance. If you don't know what is constructor or what the factory constructor is, we have several videos for this one. Link is there in the description. Go ahead and check out the link. Now let's create two instances of our class and print their hash code. You can see both of the instances have the same hash code. This proves the singleton class. Now let's create singleton class using the getter. For this also, we need to create a class with private constructor. Then add static final private field in order to receive the instance from private constructor. Now create a static getter that returns the instance. Let's test our class with two different instances. And you can see here, as we are printing the hash code, both the instances are giving the same hash code. This again proves the singleton class. One of the most easy and short way of creating singleton class is through the static field. For this also, we need to create a class with private constructor. Now create a non-private static field in order to receive the instance from private constructor. Let's test our class with two different instances and you can see when we print the hash code of these instances, we are getting the same hash code on the console. So this again proves the singleton class. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.